Hey guys, um, so yeah, this one was very, <laughs> very painful to edit. So I actually started editing it and before I, I decided to just mute it, do a voiceover and speed it up, it was about 40 minutes long. So, oh my, but yeah everything minus a couple things that you're going to see in this video are not going to work um hence the title of the video this is not going to work uh, these were my original ideas for these things um the spice cabinet is fine it is moving by the way i am going to be moving that but the tub work it's not going to work at all um and then a few other things once we get into the video, it's not going to work at all. So anyway, basically, um, as you just sit here and stare <laughs> at this cabinet, because I am a horrible video, uh, vi video, I can't talk, videographer, videographer, I don't know. Anyway, um, I'm sitting here talking to you guys. You can't see anything really. I'm like, doing stuff on the cabinet and you can't see any of it so it's like come on Melissa you can do better anyway none of this is gonna work but I I did I did want to include this in my organize my life my kitchen type series because it is I feel like it's relevant to share that sometimes we have ideas we execute those ideas and those ideas just aren't worth or aren't what's the word I'm looking for the ideas just don't pan out they don't work they don't function the way you expect them to first of all that white thing I loved it when I just had my anchor Tupperware but with the lock and lock the lids don't fit properly in it so I think I'm gonna keep that one for sure when we move the Tupperware because we are going to be moving the spices in the Tupperware and it just the kitchen is gonna get another semi revamp it is what it is but I have two other rooms to finish before we can go back into the kitchen so now you're just staring at this angle because again I'm horrible at this apparently <laughs> um, and also after the spice cabinet video I decided that a voiceover also would be better because I do better in the spice cabinet video, but in this video, it's just, uh, I don't, I don't know. I keep going off topic. I move around the kitchen and leave the camera in one spot. It's just, oh my God. But anyway, I think I'm going to need to get something else for the lock and lock lids and then leave the anchor lids in that contraption. Um, that was not very expensive. I think I paid like $8 for it or something on Amazon. Um, and it could be I just need another one because I have too many lids now, but I don't plan on getting any more anchor products um, unless they have lock and lock lids. So, I'm going for the lock and lock lid route. It doesn't necessarily have to be lock and lock brand. The ones that I currently have are member mark, so not lock and lock brand at all. But yes, um, let's see what I mean. The, I don't know what I was doing at this point, but I went off and started doing something else and left the camera rolling, and then I came back to this. Ugh, this the, the, I really almost didn't upload this video at all but again it's 
oh, I was talking about these Tupperwares and how I bought them because I was going to go work and then uh, that job didn't pan out. And so I bought them before I realized that job wasn't going to pan out and now I'm stuck with them. So um, they actually come in handy. I do, if I have like enough leftovers to make a meal, I do plate them up in that and then I have almost like a TV dinner to reheat. Um, also, you'll see I'm using the microphone. I still have the good microphone, the one I got from TeamU, which is sad that that's the one that turned out to be the good one. And the one that I spent double, triple the price on Amazon did not work. So, I mean, you live, you learn, you get loves, right? Anyway, um... I have not used the microphone in a long time. I found it... Uh, I don't want to say annoying, but like if I accidentally hit it or, you know, I bend the wrong way, it gets muffled and it's just, it's not a very good microphone for what I do. Um, I think that if they had something that was more of like a necklace or, you know, something maybe you wear on your ear or something along those lines, something that wouldn't be on my shirt because it's technically a lapel microphone and I don't wear shirts with a lapel. So, um, it kind of just clips there. And the other issue I have with it is that you can't turn the clip. So when I do have like a shirt that I could clip it onto something lapelly like it doesn't work because women's shirts are different than men's shirts apparently. And so Anyway, <laughs> um, now we're moving on to the drawers. That cheese grater already broke. I already threw it in the trash. It was junk. And I'm glad I only paid the clearance price for it on QVC because if I would have paid full price for that, I would have been PO'd. I paid, it was on clearance for four dollars I think five dollars something like it was really cheap on clearance which is why I got it and it already broke so um but yes these drawers they're about to get moved around the knife drawer is already pretty much empty because I got a knife block from my brother uh it doesn't work <laughs> I mean, it works. It holds the knives, but not properly. They don't properly fit in the knife block that I got from my brother. Um, it was just a knife block the previous tenants of his condo left behind. And instead of throwing it away, I said, okay, well, I'll take it and see if it works. So, um, and I mean, it, it technically does hold the knives. They just don't fit in it properly. But it's also made me decide that I think I want to get new knives and a knife block. And I'm, I don't want to necessarily get rid of all my old knives, but I want to put them, I don't know. I don't know if I want to get rid of them or not. They're, they were very expensive knives that, I mean, technically I did pay for them because I got them in culinary school, so... I didn't pay anything up front for them that in my student loans basically but um they're very expensive knives I think if you were to go buy them outright it was like a twelve hundred dollar knife set and I've never spent that kind of money on knives nor will I ever out of pocket <laughs> spend that kind of money on knives I don't want to say because technically I spent the money on them because I went to culinary school. Anyway, um, 
outside of school, I would never spend that kind of money on knives. I think that is ridiculous. I mean, they've lasted for a while and they're still decent knives. It's just, I, they need to be sharpened a lot more now than they used to. Um, and, oh, yeah, so they're just not enjoyable to really use anymore. Um, and I know buying a cheaper set, I'm going to have to replace them more. And that's kind of where it like, comes down to, do I really want to do that? But also, I wanted the knives out of the drawer. I don't really want to put up the magnetic thing. I mean, I could, but then I'd have to rearrange the whole entire kitchen. The, the bread box is no longer there either. And I don't remember if I recorded that in a video or not, but the bread box is not there. I moved that to the overstock pantry um, because we just don't buy bread. I have bagels because I eat a bagel every now and then, but like actual bread, I don't. I don't have any, even though my nutritionist told me I should eat um, the whole grain bread, like the Ezekiel and stuff like that. So I might get some of that, but she also told me to put it in the freezer and just pull out slices as I am going to want them and like let them thaw for a little bit before, you know, um, so... I'm thinking about doing that because I did tell her I don't don't eat bread very often. Anyway, this part that I'm about to show you guys, this will be stain. I hung up um, all my measuring spoons and cups and my KitchenAid attachments. And that is working out for me. I only need to replace one of the hooks for the KitchenAid attachments because it fell. I Well... I still have the hook. I just need to get a new sticky for it. Um, and also I'm going to be replacing my measuring cups and spoons because I don't like them and I'm missing some of them. Or really I found that a lot of sets I've been looking at do not have a two-thirds or three-fourths cup anymore. And that just baffles me. Like most of them only have one cup, half a cup, fourth of a cup, third of a cup. And that's it. What happened to two thirds and three fourths? I've used to use those all the time. And now I'm having to use like the one fourth three times to get three fourths or one third two times to get two thirds. So, I mean, it's not that big of a deal, but you know, I really appreciated <laughs> those measurements. So anyway, um, we still have a bit of a ways to go. Let's go ahead and throw in a song and then we'll come back.
All right, so that was Looking Like You by The Tape Machines. Um, I get all my music from Epidemic Sound, by the way. So if you are actually um, making videos and you are looking to put music in your videos, Epidemic Sound is probably one of the better ones that I've looked at because um, basically as long as you have, um, I don't want to say membership, but I guess a membership, um, when you post the videos, even if you end up canceling your membership, like say you have epidemic sound for three months and so, and then you have to cancel it for whatever reason, and then you don't use them. But those videos that you had while you had the membership, will not be copyrighted. You will still have, like if you're monetized, which I'm not monetized, but if you're monetized, you can still use the music in your videos for those, those the months you had it. Because I say this because you can download music from Epidemic Sound to your computer, but if your membership expires and you don't renew it and you put a song in a video after your membership expires, you will be flagged and you'll be copyrighted and I don't know what will happen. I I don't know if there's like a legal thing or not, but I think I like that because with Epidemic Sound, you don't have to put all the um, copyright data in your descriptions because they take care of all of that on their end. Like, I don't think they put it in your description for you, but like legal, they cover like the legal side of it, I guess. Um, also, um, there are others out there that you can purchase the songs, but if you do that, you have to put in all the copyright information, like, um, um, I don't know how to explain it, but you have to like put in the name of the song, the singer, the, all the, basically all the information um, about that song. I think it includes like the dates and stuff like that. But anyway, it's just a lot of work, a lot of information to have to um, store somewhere. So if you would use it in the future, I just didn't like that idea so I like that epidemic sound covers all of that for you and it's pretty affordable I'm pretty sure I think I pay $14.99 a month for it and a lot of times it turns out cheaper than that for me because I do google rewards and so um, as I do surveys and I cash out that goes to my paypal which is what I have epidemic sound coming out of and so it takes from my money from my Google Rewards first and then goes out of my bank account. So last month I only paid $12 because I had $2 in Google Rewards. Um, well, $12.99 because I had $2 in Google Rewards. And so, I mean, for me, it, it, it <laughs> I can't talk. For me, it's worth it. Um, because I like to put music in my videos, especially like on days where I don't want to talk a lot or I can't talk or, because sometimes I just lose my voice and it is what it is. So yes, anyway, all that to be said, if you are um, into making videos and you are looking at adding music to your channel, definitely check out Epidemic Sound. I have a link down below. So if you were to like sign up with my link, I would get, um, I forget, I get so much off of my next month um, after I get so many people that sign up. So, I mean, it helps me out a little. It's not a sponsorship or anything like that. I think it's just an affiliated link because I use them. And so, yeah, um, anyway, I don't normally do stuff like that in my videos, but I figured I would talk about it a little because it is, um, uh, it is a site that I actually do 
fully recommend. I've used them since I started back making videos and I like it because beforehand, um, do I have time to tell you the story? Maybe. So I'll try to sell, tell it really fast. Um, when I first started doing YouTube back in 2008, you didn't have to worry about copyright. You could use whatever music you wanted and it didn't matter. But then, I don't know what happened, um, but eventually it got to the point where if you used music that was like popular or whatever, you would have a copyright claim on your videos. And so if you were to monetize that, you would have to pay out royalties to those um, artists for using their music in your videos. But now I think it goes a little further than that. I don't think you pay royalties anymore. I think there's more of a fine, but I could be wrong. So it's just better to not chance it <laughs> and um, to use the copyright free music. So, um, oof. I lost what I was gonna say next. Um, we are getting caught up. I've noticed I'm about to have to start putting more footage from my phone onto the computer, um, minus the cooking videos, because I did tell you I'm not putting the cooking videos up until I get caught up on everything else, because the cooking videos do take a lot longer to edit. Um, because I do try my very best to m edit those in a way that makes sense, if that makes sense. I don't know if I even make sense. So, um, but yeah, this video, <sighs> I wish it was better for you guys, but I did want to show you like the progress of the kitchen. And I wanted to explain that it's just not going to work. We're going to be redoing it and we will be videoing it and hopefully I will do better next time to where we don't have to do a full voiceover. But, oh, he's moving. Anyway, um, we are going to be finishing up the craft room, I hope, this week. And so you'll see those videos in the next coming weeks. Um, and it's going to be, it's going to be a grand old time. And then we're going to be moving on into the guest bedroom which we've already made a little bit of changes and no I did not film but we will be moving into there and then uh back into the kitchen so <laughs> I do hope you guys have been enjoying this organize my life with me series if you have please hit the like button comment anything down below um comments ideas anything um and if you haven't done so already don't forget to subscribe and i will see you guys in the next one bye